Uh, 69-8 crossbred guilt here, uh, kind of the pounds bigger one of this particular pair. Uh, this is going to be a buckle up backdrop. Yeah, this one's real feminine looking. That one just looks like a breeding piece. Uh, elevation's extremely good up front, length of can, and uh, very, very feminine and, and, and uh, ladylike out of her front end, in front of her blade. Uh, uh, and then uh, is very good as far as, uh, again, just a, uh, just her skeleton, the way she's built. And she uh, almost runs uphill. She's level in her top. She's level in her design, levels in her hip, reaches off her hind leg and squares up with a big clean uh, Clean kind of a joint and a, and a feminine set of bones. I mean, it looks like a you know a good sow kind of a bone, but man, that one's still got uh, got show hog bone too. There's there's enough there. She's not as much of an outlier as the little one we got in that that thing here, but that's that's balanced. That that's a that's a good looking one. Uh, you could probably run her dual purpose, but I could see that one as a breeding guild all day long, just being the way they absolutely need to look right on into a heavy 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 weight uh, into that 350 type range. She's got everything to maintain the right kind of a growth pattern to that point. Yeah, I would fully agree. Comfortable skeleton, uh, good bone, neat, neat looking, and just everything fits, blends, matches. Really neat pedigree, awesome sow line behind her. I think just uh, so many positives working in that one's favor. And uh, She's a good show pig right now, and I think uh, absolutely gets better as she gets bigger. And, uh, just a neat one, a fun one, I think, to show. I think a neat one is just a sow prospect, too. That's 69-8 crossbred guilt. 